Good afternoon and it's Alchemy United here with 2023 EFA Cup draw. Unfortunately, I'm out of the competition. We were knocked out by Intianan in a replay, which he won 1-0. So fortunately for you guys, you've got my ugly face. Uh, entertaining as ever to do the quarter final live draw should be interesting we've got quite a few uh, good sides in the champions still in so let's see who we get obviously there's eight teams left um, very small portion of those are bots they'll be on professional level uh, all the teams on professional level seem to have got dealt with quite well in emphatic fashion in fact um, by the live clubs so I'm sure all the live clubs will be hoping to get a bot team again here I have teams in unique fashion here as you can see there's no clues as to who's who stapled them together I will pull them off one by one so we can find out the time I will show you as we said we will do it at 14 0 0 2 o'clock just so you guys know there's been no fiddling and like redoing see five minutes to so the time that we said we were going to do it if you check the pin tweets was two o'clock so going to do it at two o'clock so that we know that it's all above board since um couldn't do it live this time round so yes, um, some interesting results. Uh, Beast beat Genesis 9-0. That was the biggest score of the round. Um, like I said, all the li live clubs, they beat the bots really, really well. But that was the biggest score of them all. Uh, Beast looked dangerous. They looked very direct. Um, I would say proper FIFA style of playing. Beast is a club. They've been in and out of the EFA for a while. They've, it's funny because they've never really finished in the top half of any table not the guzzam or the pep but yet they're always quite competitive as in they're never really very easy to beat so it's strange how they've underachieved perhaps you just they're just one of these clubs that can't get themselves together the genesis that they beat 9-0 obviously they're a bot club now they spent a whole 10 years in the efa only winning one trophy which was the EFA Cup um, they beat Gully Reapers in the final um, but in fact Gully Reapers beat them and they got a replay due to a technicality because Gully Reapers turned up late and had no headset so Genesis a rather unfruitful period in a very long spout in the EFA but um, what's the time now I think before we talk too much I might start getting into this draw I think my clock is slightly behind yes it is because as you can see here it's 14 0 0 my instincts are good it's a shame Mbappe never had those same instincts against NCNN or we'd not be doing this draw we'd be looking for who we're gonna get so let's see the first team that we're picking off take this one since it's at the top I stapled these together it might not been the brightest idea but that one's come off all right so as you can see I can't see no clues as to who it is and this is Club de Haaland so it's a bot team everybody will be hoping to get them Club de Haaland now they unfortunately they were really building a good squad but were sacked this season I think due to in inactivity during the league season you know it just takes one season of um, you know inactivity what they should have done is um, put themselves on holiday on FM football manager and just put their tactics in my understanding is that they weren't able to make 70% um, of the league games this year and fell victim to really poor results and with a great squad it just wasn't accepted and they got sacked so now they're a bot and they're no longer in the FA we may see them again though clubs come and go all the time but club de Haaland bot team on professional level so everybody will be hoping to get them as you can see 
we are not having any clue as to who is who right so far this is working oh and it's sweaty sweaty have been very fortunate you'd fancy sweaty sweaty uh, a veteran in the efa known for their aggressive style which probably suits fifa um what did they do they press really hard um, during their glory days biggest achievement was probably finishing second in the pet league um which is a top league one year um just behind um stoic i think they beat stoic that's this that season so um sweaty very very capable but so, sometimes especially in recent years poorly managed club but again very very capable and uh, say talented gamers and if they turn up they could do something they've got a good draw their club the Harlem so they could be in the semi-final sweaty versus club the Harlem so that's the first fixture club the Harlem are at home for the next one all right and this will be it's falcon arrows the champions i guess a lot of clubs will be trying to avoid them it's not very clear there you go falcon arrows the champions um a last round what did they who did they play so they they um had a bot team stoic city a well-known stoic city and they beat them seven nil will they get a bot team again so that's the champions now out of the hat i'm gonna go for this this one here who's going to have to face the champions could be bad luck and it's CT All-Stars they really don't have the best of luck in these draws for whatever reason they always get a live opponent similar to myself last year we played CT All-Stars and uh, we took them to a replay and then they beat us um, after convincing first round which they showed that they are um, FIFA players they, they got the second highest score after Beast, 8-0 they won. I can't remember, yeah, SSL Rangers, but SSL went on, um, uh, they were powered by the CPU. And obviously they're on standard tier, which means they were on professional level and CT dismantled them. But now um, in this quarter final, CT are away to the champions, Falcon Arrows. Be interesting to see how they get on. They do have some good pacey players in Vinicius Jr, Saka and the likes, but that is gonna be an interesting game and very, very challenging. Perhaps for both sides. Um, I mean the champion did what they had to do last round but they weren't exactly um, any better than anybody else versus the bots so let's see if the champions can get through to try to retain their title and I've just picked up another while I've been talking and it's into Yunnan the club that took me out in the replay unfortunately for us can you see that? It's into Yunnan and they will be at home too. Let's see. This is a live opponent. I've got a feeling Inter are going to draw beasts. I don't know why. I just got that feeling. But let's see. There's only three left to be fair. So it could very well be beasts. I'm going to go for the middle one. Yeah. Into Yunnan. They've won this cup before actually. I think it was about two years ago. And Inti and Nan have been very fortunate. They've got Gully Reapers. Gully Reapers always hated on Inti and Nan. Really fun club they were whilst they were alive. But um, underachievers. Cheated by Genesis, as I said earlier, out of an EFA Cup final. But as bots on professional level, you'd say that Inter have got a favourable draw there and you'd fancy Inter to get through so now that leaves only two more clubs and one of those clubs is Beast and the other one is Hezboa yep 
Yeah, my memory is not, not so bad as I thought. So let's just pick and see who's the home side. And Beast have been very, very fortunate because they are the home side against Bot Team. I believe it's Hezbollah. I might be wrong actually. No, because Hezbollah have already been eliminated. So it's not Boa. So Beast might not be as fortunate. Oh, no, they're not fortunate at all. It's going to be Zebra Rovers on legendary level. So Beast's misfortunes in the EFA might just continue. They fancied themselves to win this tournament but um, they're going to have to beat the CPU on legendary because it's the legendary Zebra Rovers this year's league champions last year's gold cup champions and if Beast want to progress they've got their work cut out there very intriguing ties and matches so we look forward to seeing what happens and um yeah i guess thanks for watching unfortunately us at fc alchemy we're out but we will be watching um this quarter final like i said it looks intriguing so anyway without further ado that's been the quarter final draw um obviously the game week starts today wednesday and i think it ends on thursday but don't listen to me as you can see i'm an old man um, if you go to the Twitter and look at the pinned tweets, all the information regarding the tournament is there. What teams are going to be put into which uh, FIFA clubs, uh, the what, where to look on the website for the rules. So the game weeks, for example, everybody has within the week to um, to arrange their game with their opponent. Obviously. The emphasis is on the home team to contact the away team, but away teams can um, take the initiative too. Anyway, I'm done talking now, and yeah, I wish everybody good luck, and um, we'll be watching. And how come you're not dead? Next season, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly be back with a bang. Um, but even now, we're still in the Champions Gold Cup, which will probably be on FM23 because... Um, it seems like Konami can't get the act together, but let's see what happens with eFootball. Anyway, that's been the quarterfinal draw from myself. Thank you for watching and have a good day.